Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to the Museum of Freedom. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off recording. And I did quite a few things. Number one, I went, ooh, radiation storms rolling in. I went over here, built a bed. And the reason why is because when you build a bed and you rest in it, and you can rest for an hour or a whole 24 hours, it doesn't matter. You can go over to your perks and you will get the well-rested perk it'll give you a 10 percent xp boost for anything you do like well not anything you do but building killing things cooking stuff like that i went ahead and built up sanctuary just a little bit let's go ahead and cook some rad roach meat these stations aren't gonna stay here forever i just needed somewhere to put them I don't think I have anything else. Also, I went ahead and put my stim pack. Well, your stim packs always stay right here. That's like the first thing that gets favorited as soon as you pick up your first stim pack. But I put a Radix and the Radaway down below here. I went ahead and equipped a pipe pistol and then some frag grenades. I only have two. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and upgrade some weapons. We're going to upgrade our 10 millimeter pistol. We're going to upgrade it to the hardened receiver. Gonna upgrade to a long barrel. Comfort grip. We're just upgrading it. And then I love the reflex sight circle. It doesn't really matter what you do, whatever you enjoy playing with more. And then we can't really do any muzzles yet. I will put a suppressor on eventually, but we need gun nut to be able to do that. Enclave paint. That's from the new upgrade for the PS5. Let's go over to our pipe pistol. We're going to do a hardened receiver. We're going to do a long barrel. Comfort grip. And a quick eject magazine. We'll do a glow reflex sight. And those are some bayonets. Just in case you want to do some melee, you can always put a bayonet on. Now, once you do equip grenades instead of holding down to get a power attack when you pull out your weapon it's going to throw a grenade so you'll have to just mitigate that you can hit r1 and that'll just do your regular hit but if you hold r1 to try to get a power hit it's going to throw a grenade whether it's a molotov or grenade or whatever you have in your inventory that's a throwable just to give everybody a heads up. Now I did get some levels for, uh, let me get out of this menu here, for building up sanctuary. I ended up getting six levels. It's okay if you don't have six levels. I just really enjoy building in Fallout 4. So I tend to gain a few more levels when I'm building and doing stuff like that, which it never hurts to get some extra levels building even if you don't like it just place down some um 
like glass windows or something. Uh, something that's just got a ton of experience. That's, well, it's got a ton of experience. That's going to give you a ton of experience or the maximum experience. Glass windows seem to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and put in some levels. We're going to put one into perception. We're going to put two into charisma. We're not going to put any more into charisma because we will get a bobblehead. That will help us out. We're going to level up lockpick twice. And then one into hacker. All right, now let's get moving. We're gonna head towards the Museum of Freedom or Conquered. We're gonna get our first companion. It's gonna be dog meat. Don't wanna show off what I'm doing over there yet. When I build more, I'll start showing off Sanctuary a little more and just show everybody how it's developing. What should we put on? Let's let's use our pipe pistol first. I don't need any of that. Mongrel meat we'll take. Right up top here is a duffel bag. We can scoop this up. Just another heads up. These videos are probably going to be around an hour long. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay then, let's stick together. Right here's another workshop. If you want a second workshop for the Red Rocket, feel free to interact with that. We have a cap stash right over here. We have a terminal with some lore in it. Grab that medex. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing a lot of looting on here. But I will loot some things. Over here, we can get ourselves a stim pack. Some more stim packs out of that. There should be some mole rats over here somewhere. Make sure that you have a Nuka Cola on you. We need one Nuka Cola to at least do a side quest later on when we get to Diamond City. We're going to crouch and we're going to go in here. Now we want to try to be a little sneaky. We don't have high agility, so sneak isn't really our deal. I'll turn on my light so everybody can see just fine. Be careful shooting. Right over there is an exploding canister. We'll come over here, get a fusion core. Some 10 millimeter rounds and a pipe pistol. As you can see, our rads are building up quite quickly. Grab some more mole rat meat. And you do want to grab the mole rat hide as well. We'll be using that to upgrade our armor when we actually get some armor. Right now we don't have any armor so we can't really upgrade it. We'll just grab all this stuff. And then I'm going to lockpick this safe. 
Got it. Let's see if we can't get these mole rats to pop out over here in the red rocket. Normally they will. There's like four or five of them. So just be prepared for that. If not, that's okay. It's not a big deal. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go down the road. There'll be a couple of blood bugs over here, which are essentially mosquitoes. Anytime there is a flying enemy in a game, I absolutely load them. Blood bugs are one of those things that I loathe just because they fly, they're erratic. See, and they run away. I'm not even going to bother with trying to kill it. If dog meat wants to, he can. Alternatively, you could use the 10 millimeter pistol and that would kill them a lot faster. Grab the cap stash. Always a Nuka-Cola Quantum in here. At least every time I go in here, there's always a Nuka-Cola Quantum. We're going to go upstairs. Grab a bobby pin. Grab a pack of bobby pins. Grab some of that stuff there. And then I'm going to lockpick this safe. Nice. You can hit square to loot all if you want as well. For those of you that may be playing on survival, here's a bed for you to rest at if you need to rest. You can only save when you rest on survival mode. I'm actually not a big fan of survival mode in Fallout 4. Fallout New Vegas, I do like to play survival mode, but... All the other ones, well, there's only other one other one with survival mode, and that's four, so. You can kill those birds, too. Just a little fun fact. We're going to come over here. We're going to loot some stuff. Got a first aid box. Got another safe right over here. Sweet. Short hunting rifle. Awesome. I've been waiting for that. I want a combat rifle, assault rifle, and a hunting rifle. We're going to take out these raiders real fast, but we're not going to go into the Museum of Freedom yet. Got another level. Awesome possum. Be one more raider. Hey, up here on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. So we'll worry about that later. 
For now, we're going to pick up this leather chest piece, the right leather leg, right arm. We'll grab some extra too if we see any of it. Dog meat just gave me a hard hat. Silly dog. Up top here, we have a Kim box, and that's really it for up here. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. We'll pick up the laser musket. And then we're going to backtrack. So turn around, loot any raiders that you see. We got a left leg, left arm. Trying to pick up some extra stuff just so I can show you that you can put stuff onto your companion. So if we can get dog meat to stay still. Hey, over here. You can command them to come over to you and then you can hit square to trade with them. Oh, you got a stim pack, bud? Awesome. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of this stuff away. Well, not essentially away, but over to dog meat. We don't need to be carrying all this stuff on us. It'll just weigh us down in the long run. And then we're going to go into our pit boy, go over to apparel, and we're going to equip all of our armor. Now, not everything can have armor put over top of it. Only certain things like the Vault 111 jumpsuit, we can put armor over. I'm actually wanting to find some road leathers. We'll find them later. We're going to pick up this cap stash. And then we're going to go inside the Concord Civic Access. We're going to crouch first. Equip some grenades. And then we're going to put our 10 millimeter pistol on. Because we're going to have a Meyer Lurk. Now, if you've played Fallout 3, you'll know that there is a big difference between Meyer Lurks in Fallout 4 and Meyer Lurks in Fallout 3. Grab that Meyer Lurk meat. Grab some jets. And then we want to hop on these cinder blocks and then hop to the left and like forward. You're going, so you're going to the left and forward to get up here. Grab the day tripper, some more jets, psycho, and then another cap stash. You can get another fusion cell right here as well. If you want the Volt Tech lunchbox, you can grab that. And then we're going to get another magazine. This is Taboo Tattoos. There we go. Nice, another fusion core. That is awesome. Grab the Mintats. We don't really need anything else. We can get out over here, which we will in just a moment. First, what I like to do is come over here and kill some mole rats. Should be one more over here. There it is.
Now you can go back that way, but it's blocked off right now. The only way you're going to be able to get through that is by going through the Museum of Freedom and completing that quest and it will open up the door eventually. There's a little bit that goes into it, but you'll be able to open up the door after the Museum of Freedom. Also, when you're in VATS, if you don't want to see the long kill animation, you can hit circle after killing the enemy and immediately exit the kill animation. Let's go to the Commonwealth. We're going to go inside the speakeasy real fast. We're not going to spend too much time in here. Let's turn on our light. We're going to pick the lock on the safe. Yes. Ooh, a stealth boy. So a stealth boy, if you use that, that will turn you invisible. The downside on that is it turns your weapon invisible too, so you won't be able to see where you're shooting a lot of the times. We're going to go downstairs. There's not really much here. I'm just kind of showing everybody you can loot. A bunch of different stuff you're gonna want a ton of glue or duct tape you're gonna always be using adhesive on whatever you're building not building but uh, upgrading like your weapons and stuff like that let's lock pick this door that's it Man, they're throwing fusion cores at me today. Another Volt Tech lunchbox. Sweet, we got an ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. You can exit the door over there if you want to. Right here is a pretty gruesome scene. Some mannequins hovered over a skeleton. Get some Excel. Always pick up chems. Even if I don't use them, I like to sell them. Suspenders and slacks. You cannot put armor over top of that. And we are going to exit the speakeasy. So the front door is right over here. This is going to send us out into the front of the Museum of Freedom. All right, let's crouch. The pipe pistol is the worst gun you can have, but it serves a purpose at the beginning. Fucking go! Taxation without representation! Remember, lads! Two, if I see! Let's see! Condors! Look right to the 
Lexington to warn Hancock and Adams. Awake, men of Middlesex! The King's regulars are coming out! By the way, quick heads up, you do want to be collecting extra weapons and armor just so you can equip your settlers, if that's something you want to do, with weapons and armor. I'm going to lockpick this gate. Got it. I love to get as much experience as I can. We're going to come down here. We're going to... Hack a terminal, and then we're going to lockpick the gate. So let's hack the terminal real fast. All right, we got the terminal hacked. Make sure that you don't unlock the gate so you can maximize your experience. Sweet. Pick up another fusion core. want to make sure that my Molotovs are equipped. We're going to come over here for just a second. You can loot all this if you want, but I want to come over here for this stuff. Over to the back here, there is a cap stash. Ah, road leathers. I'm going to put the road leathers on. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit, and I'll gut you myself! Now shut your mouth, or we'll never get the drop on this guy. Hmm. Look out! Let go! By the way, for anybody that has ever watched the movie Mad Max, you will know that the road leathers are a nod to that movie. Or Road Warrior, wherever you're from. Depends on what it's named. The road leathers have been a staple of the Fallout franchise since the first Fallout game. It's pretty cool that they've kept it in. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you! Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Wait for him to come through this door. Toss a Molotov. Ah! that easy you can loot all this if you want Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Huh. Nah, that ain't it. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. 
Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed Maybe. up and live for a long time. <sighs> nope. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just God as soon as it. look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Right here, we have another Pip-Boy game. Nice. We can also hack this terminal. When you hack this terminal, it'll open up the gate downstairs that we already opened up for the fusion core. I'm just going to hack it for the experience. Let's talk to Mama Murphy. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And, and it's, it's angry. Ma'am. Now look who dog meat brought to us. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming. Drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I, I see. Oh. It's, it's horrible, 
kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. That's all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. We're going to go into our pit boy real fast. We're going to level up one time. I'm going to put one level into gunslinger. So we can get some extra damage with our pistols. And then right over here we're going to pick up our first bobblehead. This is the perception bobblehead. Bingo. This is going to give us one point into our perception. All this stuff is lootable. Let's go outside. We're going to listen to this hollow tape. Come up here. We're gonna grab the minigun. Up here, boss. We got Let's somebody up here. Oh, wait. Something's out there. Why don't you get down here? Sure. Show me that fancy gun up close. Be not a lot of people could get past my boys. I give you that. We want to kill Gristle. Gristle has a key that we want, so we're going to go over to him immediately. We're going to pick up the key. It's the poor Vega storage key. Be really careful. We're going to have a death claw now. Back. Not let that death claw get a hold of you. Wreck your day. Be careful, dog meat. We still have some raiders that are shooting at us, but honestly, the death claw is a little more important to kill. Just gotta find the other people.
use a stim pack real quick. And then if you want to get out of your power armor, which I'm going to do real quick. You just hold X and it'll toss you out of your power armor. Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends, the other Minutemen, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh. That's wonderful, but there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. Please, tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy, I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy... You got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into this power armor. And I'm going to walk all the way back to Sanctuary. And I will meet everybody over there when we get there. Before I go, though, where the Death Claw popped out of, just over here. If you go through that door, that's where I was talking about earlier. You can open up a door, but you have to finish up the Museum of Freedom first. All right, everybody, I'll see you all in just a second when I'm at Sanctuary. All righty, we made it to Sanctuary. I went ahead and put my power armor away, and I took the fusion core out. If you do not take the fusion core out of that power armor, Settlers can hop in your power armor and use it to whatever they want to do, especially if they're being attacked by raiders or something. So take your fusion core out. If you want to take out your fusion core, just hit square. And then you can go into the inventory and take out the fusion core. 
Let's go ahead and talk to Preston Garvey. Everybody's least favorite companion. Excuse me. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Got another level. That is awesome. We're going to talk to Sturgis if we can find him real fast. There he is. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. We're gonna hold the middle pad button. We're going to put some furniture down. That should be plenty. We're just going to do this real quick for Sturgis. Sanctuary. And then after that, we're going to end the video. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Thanks again. To get water, you got to go over to resources. Come up to water. And then we'll put one more down. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. So now we got to plant some food. Marcy at. There you are, Marcy. If you click on them, you can get them to work these spots. If the volt um, boy isn't blue, it's red, then that means nobody's working the farms. Seems to be growing well. 
I'm gonna pick this stuff up. Should have enough. There we go. Is that enough? No, we'll need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until these crops are regrown and I will see everybody in just a second. Alrighty, we're back and I have everything that we need so that we can plant some more. Should be enough. There we go. Now we can talk to Sturgis. Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. By the way, if anybody is wondering how I have an abundance of certain materials, you can always watch the video just before this one, and it will show you how I did all that. We're just going to put these anywhere for now. I'm really not worried about any of this at the moment, just because... I'm going to be redoing Sanctuary to the way that I want it. And I don't want to have everybody sit here and watch me try to be precise and stuff like that. Trying to place everything perfectly. Okay, now we got some defenses down. Talk to Sturgis again. Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.